when somebody comes up to me and says, you really made me laugh, or even if they say I was crying and everyone was looking at me, there's something really amazing about being able to do that. Even though they're very much about me, they're my stories, my observations. If I'm enjoying writing it or I'm feeling something when I'm writing it, then I kind of know that that will be one that will touch people. I want it to be surprising and I want it to be original and different. I mean, I am trying to entertain people and also to laugh at myself. Laughing at myself makes things a lot better. Okay, I love that one. Oh yeah, but it's silly or the better. I know, it's like, it's kind of random, isn't it? Like, know, so what's random. the story behind it? There's some things I've written in that column that I only process by writing them down. I do end up getting a lot of stuff out of me that maybe wouldn't have anywhere else to go. I suppose I would think of my mother sometimes because even though she's my mother and she loves me more than anyone else in the world, she's still a good critic. If I hear from her on a Saturday morning and she said, you've made me cry or you made me laugh or something like that, I kind of go, that's a good day. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a step there. Even though I'd like to write about just the small things in life and maybe what people would consider the trivial things. I also think that I've got a platform and it's important to me that when I see something that needs to be written about, say the situation with homelessness in this country at the moment, and things that I feel strongly about, I know I can write about that. One of the many brilliant things about the Irish Times is the legacy of strong women writers. You've got all these women who were groundbreaking journalists. But a lot of those subjects were being tackled for the first time, and it was really brave. Continuing that legacy, and we just have a whole load of brilliant women writing, Rosita Boland, Kate Holmquist, Cathy Sheridan, Kitty Holland, and to be somehow a small part of that is really, really great. The best part about writing my column would be that I just get to spill out everything that I'm thinking and feeling, and I get to do that every Saturday and it's a real privilege.